In the name of God, hello everybody. My name is Ali Amjad Kayvan and I'm, I'm a teacher of this project. Our project about uh, drug effect on dopamine on dopamine secretion and we are want to talk about human nervous system. It's my pleasure to invite our students. Uh, everybody please introduce yourself. Hello, in the name of God, my name is Arad Eskane. Thank you. Hello, my name is Amir Rosin Thank you. Hello, my name is Daniel Mardone. Hello, my name is Amir Rosin Thanks. Okay, let's talk about the primary uh, subject and primary part. Okay. A body or a human body contains of many systems. And one of the most important system is nervous system. Nervous system consists of two parts, CNS and PNS, central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Uh, Mr. John Shea, come here, please. Central brain. nervous system consists of two parts, like brain, brain and spinal cord. Spinal cord, thanks a lot. Okay. And so I'm just gonna come here, please. We want to talk about the neuron. The most part of our nervous system, or the base part, that's called neuron, neuron. or the nerve cell. Thanks. Uh, the spinal cord, uh, the spinal cord, uh, the nervous system can, uh, can stay, consists of a lot, a lot of neurons. And the neuron itself consists of three main parts. The dendrites, the main cell of body, and the axon. As you can see, the axon is covered by a specific structure called the myelin. The myelin helps increase the speed of the, the signal or the information that is being transferred through the neuron. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Mr. Skandari. And we want to talk about the main idea and the main part of our article. Okay, we perform a two group of mice. Group A, Mr. Jansen, come here, please. Group A, considered as in. Country. Control and group B as in study. study sample. We design a box with a specific lever that uh, inject a certain dose of cocaine to uh, mice or to group uh, B when rats or mice mice accidentally hit the lever. Okay. So let's uh, come here, please. The first time the rats had an accident, they were injected with cocaine and the blood dopamine levels rose. Okay, let's draw a chart. Thanks. Okay. This is the chart. Dopamine level and time based on day. In first dose, uh, and with the first dose, the dopamine level of the mice rises. Uh, this is like the first day. First dose of injection of cocaine to okay. uh, to the mice the dopamine level rises. The second day, they do the same thing. The dopamine level rises again, and uh, the same thing repeats until the dopamine level hits a peak. And it won't go any higher than that. After uh, 15 days, we empty the cocaine canister so uh, that the dopamine level of the mice comes back to a normal level when the, mice, was the same day. When the mice intentionally, intentionally hits the uh, lever and the box of uh, cocaine and uh, the, co uh, the cocaine bottle is empty and the 
dopamine level decrease, decrease, and decrease to primary level. But in this level and in this day is a very specific note about addict uh, people or addict person. Okay. Uh, uh, when someone is already addicted to cocaine or any sort of drug, they have a higher chance of going back to uh, doing drugs again. That is called a relapse. Uh, same happens in, with the mice, but here the dopamine level will rise again when the mice is stimulated. For example, we bring a, a female mice, m mouse, and we put it beside the cage of the male addicted mouse. Uh, this will stimulate the mouse and the dopamine level will spike. And that's the most important part of our article to introduce and to explain why the addict people resemble or uh, go back. can go back. Relapse. Yes, that's relapse. And uh, it's very important. It's very important part, and our therapy and our therapy method to uh, get and fix the level of dopamine by Relating. some psychotropy. By some psychotropy. And the therapy for the addict people about the most uh, helpful therapy is psychotropy. Uh, by the uh, pharmacology therapy or pharmatherapy like uh, some drives like uh, L-Dopa to uh, increase the dopamine of uh, some addict people. Okay. Uh, we want to increase the dopamine of some people without making them addicted. So the best thing to do is help them follow their interest. For example, uh, if someone knows an, in uh, an instrument and they really like that instrument, for example a piano, they can teach that instrument to others. So this way it brings them joy and joy brings them dopamine. Yes, really good. And the psychotropy is the best way for trapping addict people. Addict is a patient. Okay? Not is a uh, uh, crime. Okay? Thanks. Thanks a lot to attention, to our attention, to our conversation.